So we've partnered with a hardware manufacturer called Teradek Cube. Um, and one of the big problems in uh, cracking the live streaming business is both the connection at the event, but also the, usually you need a laptop or something like that to encode and send the feed to live stream. Um, our partner Teradek has built basically a miniature hardware encoder. So you see it there right on top of a, of a camera. Um, which basically you send it the video via HDMI or SDI and it encodes and does everything inside the box and send it directly to live stream over Wi-Fi or there's also a model that supports Verizon 4G. So that means you can be roaming with the camera uh, completely with wireless power, in fact not wireless power but with battery power um, and with, um, with battery power and with also wireless internet and we could be roaming around the streets of New York with Verizon 4G and stream directly to live stream. And you've been checking 4G, what, uh, what kind of uh, uh, speeds are you getting? So at the office of Teradek, we were there, we opened now also a live stream office in LA but we were there a couple of weeks back to test it and um, on Verizon 4G there we've seen a very stable 8 megabit download and 8 megabit upload. Which is suitable. Which is, yeah, for a live stream, a typical live stream is 500, 600 kilobit and you need one megabit. So with a single connection, we've seen that you can have from an event a really stable live feed out um, to the live stream player uh, from this device, basically. So the, the, the innovation is really twofold, right? You have a really tiny device that replaces the laptop, so you don't need to be bothered when you're filming, you can go mobile. And then you also have the ability to go wireless over Wi-Fi, which is not so new, but over Verizon 4G, which is a, a huge breakthrough for live streamers. Now in the past there was mobility, but it involved a big backpack or something. What, how is this different? Yeah, LiveView is our, is our partner for more robust uh, mobile solutions, so it's a bigger backpack. One of the advantages is it has many modems in it, but it's also uh, you know, priced differently because you have to rent it, so it's aimed at a different class of producers. Uh, with this device you take a little bit more risk because you only have one connection, but Verizon 4G is so underused that it's pretty amazing if you can get coverage where your event is, it's, uh, it's very stable. And uh, the other advantage, obviously, it's not a backpack, right? It's uh, tiny, just on top of your camera. Um, and with a battery, you can power it for hours and hours and hours. You know. The model with HDMI, which is what we have here, um, is on their website. It's available right now, ships worldwide. Um, it's available for $1,500. And then the SDI model, which is a more professional um, video um, ingest capability, is about $2,000. And one thing to note is that inside, the way you configure it is you have a web server inside this box and then they've integrated us directly with live stream so all you have to do is you type your live stream username your live stream password your channel name and then there's a little button here you press and then you're live straight from here to the live stream player on mobile on the internet um, and soon connected to and on the 4g works what about 4g from sprint or gsm in europe or other places what we've seen is the um, uh, this device is only integrated with Verizon 4G with a Pentech device from, um, from Verizon. Um, and the reason uh, Teradex started with that one is that uh, it's a more up-to-date network. It's the LTE network. Uh, the other 4G networks, uh, to my knowledge, I think in the US, uh, at least Sprint, are, are using different technologies. So, uh, and it's so new that um, unfortunately there's no coverage everywhere, but there's the most bandwidth uh, available. Um, Teradek on their roadmap will support more 4G networks, you know, maybe some international one. Uh, this is really a huge breakthrough. They've come out of this uh, capability uh, late last week, and we launched our partnership with them uh, today with a new firmware update of the device. And Max, just uh, briefly, give us a little update on, on what you guys are up to, how big Livestream yeah. is, the scope of things. I see you're packed out here with, 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 well, with staff. Lunch, so we, uh, <laughs> later on, we pack. So we can't put any more, uh, any more people in our New York office. We now have about, uh, I think, 45 uh, people in New York. We've opened an office in LA that's uh, working with uh, movie studios and TV companies. We, we've, for example, developed a very strong relationship out of LA with Paramount. We did a uh, Justin Bieber movie premiere two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Uh, last night we did the new release of uh, Jackass 3D um, and we've also been growing our Associated Press uh, relationship with uh, the Oscars which uh, we broke all records again uh, this year. Um, next week is South by Southwest so we, uh, we have a lot of events uh, including Facebook and other uh, brands that are doing events there. Uh, some officials, some not, uh, who are using live stream uh, to bring back events uh, on the internet and on mobile. So that will be big next week and um, you know, we're continuing to grow 
uh, our audience probably 10% month to month in our, in our membership. So uh, things are doing great.